गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी कवर्ड साइबर सिक्योरिटी वी वाइल कवरिंग साइबर सिक्योरिटी वी अंडरस्टूड दैट इन यूपीएससी मेंस एग्जामिनेशन द पैटर्न ऑफ क्वेश्चंस हैव चेंज्ड फ्रॉम 2013 2013 में देयर वाज अ सिलेबस चेंज एंड आफ्टर दैट व्हाट वी हैव सीन इज 2013 टू 2022 देयर हैव बीन मोर एनालिटिकल some technical aspects what technical aspect like uh, these kind of questions have been asked in science and technology as well as in cyber security in the past like what is a virus what is a worm these kind of to deal with these kind of questions and some new things which have emerged like crypto jacketing uh, crypto jacking or ransomware or uh, after after quantum computers what would happen to cryptography these are some new areas which we want to understand so this will be a small video 20 20 minutes video or so uh, in which we would ensure that if questions related to these fundamental technical aspects come in the examination you should be able to at least define them properly okay so uh, here main types of cyber threats on the basis of the me method that they use so uh, to un how do cyber threats function generally what happens is a malware may be introduced in your system malware comes from the word malware comes from malicious software so malware or malicious software may be a virus it may be a worm it may be something else which has a wrong intention it may be interested in stealing your data it may be interested in stealing your processing power it may be uh, interested in just making your computer slow that is malicious software or that is malware so what is malware it's a, any program or file that is harmful to a computer user it includes viruses worms trojan horses spyware etc and they may be uh, the purpose of malware may be stealing encrypting or deleting sensitive data altering or hijacking core computing function and monitoring users computer activities now there are various types of malware they say uh, there is virus so what is a virus virus is a malicious software which execute itself and spreads by infecting other programs or files so what happens is when you had started using computer the first thing that you may have heard uh, like when, when the system of pen drive was there here pen drive ko properly format karlo else virus may come because if this pen drive has some executable file and if you uh, try to take some executable file from that pen drive that executable file along with it may also bring some virus so viruses are typically attached to an executable file or a word document they often spread via p2p file sharing pen drives have file share kar rahe ho. infected website when you go to a wrong website to download something along with that file sometimes a virus may also come or email attachment generally virus remains dormant till the time uh, the file the executable file to which it is attached is not executed when you run the program virus becomes active and it uh, infects other so other things in your computer worm is also malicious software malware but it is it can self replicate without a host program like in case of virus what was the situation it attached itself to an executive program executable program but that's not the case with worm worm will self replicate if it's in your network it will uh, itself grow it will itself go into other computers worms typically spread without any human inter interaction or directive from malware author then what is trojan horse trojan horse would appear like a good program so when you go to some website you will try to download some uh, software so when you're downloading this software it appears that yes it's a quality ka software but that software is actually a malicious software which may have some wrong intention that is trojan horse so it's a malicious program that is designed to appear as legitimate program once activated following installation trojans can execute their malicious function then there is spyware spyware is also a malware a malicious software whose purpose is to spy it will get into your system and collect information and will regularly send it to the uh, spyware ke owner ko then ransomware what is ransomware ransomware would be a malicious software or would be a mechanism by which your computer system would be encrypted blocked from use and then the owner of malware or owner of ransomware would ask you transfer me this kind of money then i'll 
allow you to open your computer. For example, in 2017, a very famous malware was in news, WannaCry. Wanna the, there was a ransomware attack in Ames. In this, the December 2022 attack on Ames was a ransomware attack. Then we have Rootkit. Rootkit is also a malicious software or a malware whose purpose is to give you admin access. So, unauthorized person ko admin access deni ke liye, the virus or malicious software that would be used is rootkit. So, these are different types of malicious software. There are some certain other terms that you must be know, you must know about. One is advanced persistent threat, APT. What is advanced persistent threat? Advanced persistent threats are those kind of cyber threats. One, they are advanced and difficult to detect, persistent that, that, that is, they will remain in your system for longer period and for a longer period that will it will keep monitoring you your function keep collecting data keep spying and will keep sending that information to the owner of apt advanced persistent threat then there is something called denial of service attack what is denial of service attack denial of service attack is this let's say the website of some organization abc.com has a server which can handle 10000 queries in a second now Suppose by some mechanism, you are sending it 1 lakh queries in a second. Now what would happen? A genuine user will not be able to use it. This is denial of service. Because you are some, by some mechan mechanized manner, uh, automated manner sending lakhs of queries to it. So when a gen genuine user goes there, the service would be denied. That is denial of service attack. So say, this is another kind of uh, cyber attack which can happen on a website on a online platform. Then uh, ransomware ke mein, we are giving some more details, uh, jada details nahi, uh, like uh, how serious was the AIMS ransomware attack to at least five of the AIMS servers that hosted data related to more than three crore patients were compromised here. So how serious are ransomware attack in general? We will see that cyber security firm Trellix say that it is the in its third quarter global report had it had identified 24 major ransomware which are in circulation and as per Inter Interpol ransomware was the second highest ranking threat after money laundering. So Interpol says, international police organization says that ransomware are so dangerous that after money laundering the biggest threat, biggest crime that we face is ransomware. It's also expected to increase the most. In future it is expected to increase by 72 percent. India may be bahut sare ransomware threats we have seen. Just in May 2022, Spice had faced such threat. In April 2022, Oil India had faced such threat. Uske baad December 2022, mein AIMS had faced such threat. Okay, so this is, these are some examples of ransomware. Now, coming to how do we deal with it? Dekho, ransomware or any malware will take advantage of some flaw in your system. So, try to keep your system updated. Try to use the late, uh, complicated password. Try to update your passwords regularly. And then other aspects that we have discussed in the previous video, ki how do we ensure cyber security, human resource development, infrastructure development, more R&D, those are certain aspects that we will have to continue working upon to deal with these challenges. Okay, now what is crypto jacking? So, dekho, while studying cryptocurrencies, we had said that cryptocurrencies need the bitcoin needs mining and mining mining may basically uh, what they do is they 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 solve some difficult mathematical problem which requires a lot of computing power now what is crypto jacking crypto jacking may what cyber attackers will do they will start using a small part of your resource your computer resource for their own computing for their own crypto mining your computer will get slow and you will not notice, you will not realize that someone else is using your resource. So by this, if they are able to do it in lakhs of computers, thoda 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 computing power leke, they can create a huge computing power by which they are mining cryptocurrencies. This is crypto jacking. Again, way forward would be similar, way forward would be what? Increase awareness of cyber hygiene and enhance cyber security. Okay, another term which has been in news in recent times is acoustic side channel attacks. Now, what are acoustic side channel attack? In fact, before we go to acoustic side channel attack, first let's understand what are side channel attacks. Dekho, let's say there is an encrypted system, there is a protected system. Now, one way of hacking into the system is to find flaw in the software and enter through there. Other ways by using side channels. Side channels, matlab, 
how much heat is the system producing what kind of noise is the system producing let us let's, let's understand this let us say there is a hacker who has give, given me a call usne mujhe call diya hai i am talking to that hacker and at the same time let us say i am dealing with my uh, internet banking and i am entering my password so while i am entering my password some noise would be created by the keyboard right this hacker would listen to this noise will process it and based on that will determine the password now they have not directly hacked into my system and determine the password but using this side channel information the noise of the keyboard they have determined the password this is side channel attack and when noise is used acoustic is used it is called acoustic side channel attack so what is side channel attack side channel attacks are methods of hacking a cryptographic algorithm based on analysis of auxiliary system used in the encryption method it can be done by collection of signals emitted by devices it can be done by electromagnetic waves power consumption mobile sensors etc studies have shown that when a classify so nowadays what has happened ki earlier they they were not very strong these methods have been used since 1950s but nowadays what is happening because of artificial intelligence because of machine learning because of deep learning deep neural networks they are becoming more and more accurate they say let's say uh, ma, 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 i'm i'm using macbook pro so all the keyboards in macbook pro throughout the world would be roughly similar they would be making similar noises so they will collect data from lots of those places and then they'll train their model and their model uh, using this deep learning mechanisms have been found to be way more accurate than the uh, previous situation so uh, studies have shown that when a classifier is trained on keystroke by a nearby phone it achieves an accuracy of up to 95% the highest accuracy seen without the use of language model okay so what is acoustic wala acoustic side channel attack where we use sound for side channel attack that is acoustic side channel attack and they are not new they have been used since 1950s but now they have become a threat because of deep learning and uh, uh, are become uh, may become a bigger threat in future as artificial intelligence enhances so what should be kept in mind so there is no explicit means of defense but some measures like touch based typing of passwords ab jab internet banking ya baki cheezon mein password dal rahe ho to there there are always touch based passwords available so touch based password be acoustics will not be there sound will not be there and chances of side channel attack would reduce similarly creating a stronger password the strong your password is difficult it is for even the deep learned algorithm to predict it would become and finally avoid easily recognizable phrases which can make it easier for ai model to predict the text other than this the in the previous videos we have spoken about the uh, methods by which cyber security system can be made much stronger that are, those aspects also have to be kept in mind okay finally one last thing that we want to discuss is the uh, understanding post quantum cryptography like post quantum cryptography after quantum computers are developed what would happen to cryptography to understand this let's understand a bit of background currently we do not have quantum computers so cryptography that we use is generally public key cryptography public key cryptography in public key cryptography public key cryptography are secure public key cryptography are secure because there are some problems which conventional computers using super, including supercomputers are not able to solve they say uh, uh, finding factors or prime factors or uh, or or finding very large prime numbers these are these are some problems which are non solvable and therefore cryptographic algorithms like rsa are secure but in future when quantum computers develop these quantum computers will have very these quantum computers will have very high processing powers when they will have very high processing powers they will be able to break this system so quantum computers may various countries all over the world like us china they they are putting in a lot of research and development there and once they are able to achieve it the current public key cryptography the current mechanism by which encryption we are all able to use would break 
So if we want to ensure cyber security, maybe let's say it is going to take 10 years or 20 years or 30 years, no one is sure given exactly when we'll have a functioning quantum computer developed. But whatever time it takes, after that, the current system of public key cryptography RSA algorithm may not be feasible or may not be secure or may not, will not be secure. So what has to be kept in mind is we have to develop or uh, modify our, our algorithms. We have to modify, I'm sorry, we have to modify our algorithms, our algorithms, algorithms so that, so that quantum, com quantum computers will not be able to break it. Quantum computers will not be able to not break it. Plus, what we also need to do is we need to focus, streamline, fast track development of quantum computers at India's level. So that when we will have quantum computers, we'll, we will, we are, and, and development of quantum cryptography. So that when RSA fails, we will have me mechanism of quantum cryptography to secure everything. Things like quantum key distribution, etc. could be used to develop a more secure system. So these are certain things uh, that we'll have to work upon if we want to ensure that even in the post quantum world, our cyber security is ensured, our systems remain secure. Okay, so with this, I'm ending the session on cyber security. Uh, I'm pretty sure whatever UPSC asks this year or uh, with these two videos, total, these two videos together, I think, are one and a half hours. With these two videos, you will be able to solve both those. Uh, uh, all those questions. So, all the very best. The notes for the, uh, the this PDF file you can find in the description below. Uh, download it from there. Study it from there. Also, I'm 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 going to come up with some more videos. Like I'm society or social issues ke kuch important topics pe videos banane wala hu. In case you need something, in case you want ki sir, there are a few topics which we haven't been able to prepare. Uh, so, I will make short videos to give you the main and make you the main. So, leave your request in the comment if you need something to be covered. We will be uh, trying our best to ensure that PDF notes or videos for that are available to all of you. Thank you very much. All the best for your exams.